Hello everyone, we are going to start with another lecture of performance management and in this lecture we are going to deal with the concept of shutdown decision, right? Shutdown decision in the sense that for example, uh, sales revenue of a division is around 500,000, right? And you know that current cost is around 400,000, right? So this means what? This means that the company is generating right now a contribution of 100,000. If you discontinue the benefit, if you discontinue this uh, project or this uh, branch, then you will lose this. You will not be able to generate this revenue, right? So in this situation, company should continue with the decision making, right? Because if company discontinue, then company, there will be a loss of 500,000, there will be a gain of 400,000. So loss is greater than gain in this case, right? Loss is greater than gain. So it's better for the company to continue. Suppose if the same situation is, suppose sales revenue is 400,000 and the cost is around 500,000. So that means what? That means currently company is generating a loss of 1 lakh. So if there is a loss of 1 lakh and if you discontinue, then that would be a good idea for the company. Because if you discontinue, you will lose 400,000, but you will gain 500,000, right? So whenever you are uh, you are exposed to a situation when someone is asking you to calculate whether to continue or not, we should we normally consider that what will happen if we discontinue, right? So let's just start with a question. This is a past paper question and I personally believe it's a good question. And good question in the sense that uh, uh, it examined uh, the concept uh, in, a, in a very proper manner. So let's see what's given here. Stay clean. I urge you to pause this video and try to read it at your own and try to think how uh, what is given in this question and try to attempt it at your own first, right? Clean company, stay clean, manufactures and sell a small range of kitchen equipment. Spe uh, specifically, the product range contains dishwasher, washing machine, and crumble dryer. The TD is of rather old design, right? So they are talking about this product. This product. TD is rather old design and has for some time generated negative contribution, right? This is given here, negative contribution. It is widely expected that in one year's time, the market for this design of TD will cease as people switch to the washing machine that can also dry clothes after washing cycle has completed. Stay Clean is trying to decide whether or not cease the production of TD now. This is the first option or in 12 months time. This is the second option, right? When the new combined washing machine dryer will be ready. To help, this, to help with this decision, the following information has been provided. The normal selling price sales volume and total variable cost for the three products are given below. Right. Selling price per unit of all three products are given, material cost is given, labor cost is given, even contribution is also given. Sales volume is given, let me write it here because there is some tabbing issue, 5,000, 6,000 and 1,200 units respectively. Right. It is thought that some of the customers that buy TD will also buy DW and WM. It is estimated that 5% of the sales of WM and DW will be lost if TDC is to be produced. That means if you discontinue this manufacturing, then product DW and product WM will get affected. And we are expecting that there will be a decrease of 5% in overall sales revenue, right? Uh, this concept is actually called complementary product. We have already discussed this in, uh, uh, in limiting factor case where we said that look, if you discontinue the manufacturing of a product, then your other products may get affected, right? So this is basically what we are seeing. That despite of the fact that this contributed product is just generating a contribution of negative $10, still company may be interested to produce this product because uh, the other products are also dependent on this product, right? All the direct labor force currently working on TD will be made redundant immediately if TD is seized now. This would cost 6,000 in redundancy payment, right? This is an incremental cost. If a stay clean waited for 12 months, the existing labor force would be retained and retrained at a cost of 3,500 to enable them to produce a new washing time product, right? So if you continue with this uh, manufacturing, then what will happen? 
we have to keep our labor and if we if we discontinue we have to suffer a redundancy cost if we discontinue then we have to uh, sorry if we continue then we have to bear this 3500 cost right retaining and retraining cost recruitment and training cost of labor in 12 months time would be 1200 in the event then redundancy takes place now right we will discuss this point later because this is this is an important point uh, that need to be addressed stay clean operates in a jit policy and all material cost would be saved on the on td for 12 months if td production ceased now and obviously that makes sense because if you are not producing anything you don't need material for that product equally the material cost relating to lost sales on wm and dw will also be saved however the material supplier has a volume based discount scheme in place as follows remember in the first question when we were doing uh, i don't remember the name of that question but that sunday project question uh, we were doing that question and in that question we decided to uh, we considered relevant cost of for discount right because uh, in case we open sunday project then company will get extra discount and uh, in this case the situation is a little bit reverse let's see what we can do here total annual expenditure if total annual expenditure is 6 million there will be no discount if it's in between this then company will get 1% then 2% 3% and 5% discount stay clean uses this supplier for its material for all the product it manufactures right the figures given above in the cost per unit table for material cost per unit are net of any discounts that company already qualifies for that means this material cost is after discount right after discount means this is not the gross cost this is the net cost so suppose if company is having 2% discount this is 98% cost if company is having 3% discount then this will be 97% cost right then what else it says the space in the factory currently used for td will be sublet for 12 months on a short term lease contract if production of td stops now the income from the contract will be 12000 the supervisor supervises the production of all three products spending approximately 20% of his time on td production he will continue to be fully employed on td if td is ceased now now what you are required to do whether whether calculate whether or not it's worthwhile uh ceasing to produce the td now or rather than waiting for 12 months ignore uh any adjustment to allow for the time value of money so you are not supposed to calculate the present value of the cash flows right so i'm just pausing this video and i'm switching it to uh the normal mode so that we can use excel right this is again all right just copying uh yeah it's All right, so let's see what we can do here. See, we are trying to do the incremental part. Incremental part in the sense that what will be the incremental effect. So let's try to check that. Uh, let's start with the decline in revenue, right? Decrease in revenue. Right. a decrease in revenue will be what td you will, you are not we are going to stop production cease production now right we are doing this case right so if you cease the production there will be a decrease in sales revenue now how much sales revenue will be decreased uh see you don't have to sell you will not sell td in this case right so 1200 units of td multiply by uh you will save there will be a reduction of 1200 multiply by uh selling price is 80 right plus 5% of uh of of units will be lose loss so 6000 times 0.05 times uh, what uh 6000 is wm so the selling price is 350 right plus uh 5000 times 0.05 times 200 right let me put a bracket here as well right 
right? So this will be the overall reduction in cost. And since this is a reduction, let's consider this to be a negative cost, right? Right. This is a decline in revenue, right? Then there will be a uh, then there will be material cost, right? Let's talk about material cost now. We have to check that what will be the difference, right? Uh, so let's consider the current material cost and then the new material cost, right? So what is the current material cost? See, current material cost is, uh, there are multiple ways of doing this. I'm just doing in a normal way. So the current material cost is uh, uh, 5,000 times uh, 70 plus... Uh, one hundred times uh, six thousand plus uh, uh, fifty multiply by twelve hundred. Oh, sorry, right? So this is the current material cost, right? And uh, what will be the new material cost? See, this is the current material cost. Let me try to put some bracket here, uh, sorry, commas here so that we can identify that um, 1 million and 10,000. And this is the net cost, right? 1, point, 1 million and 10,000 is, uh, is the greatest figure, right? Is the largest figure. So it's more, it will be, on this in this bracket 960,000 and above right so that means company is having maximum discount right so that means company is having a discount of uh, around 5% right so that means what that means the material cost of DW material cost of DW is uh, Okay, fine. We can do it another way. Okay, fine. DW cost is uh, 70. Written here is 70. But the actual cost is 70 divided by 0 0.95. I mean divided by 95 multiplied by 100. Right? WM. The cost of WM is 100. Right? So 100 divided by 0.95 and cost of TD is uh, 50 divided by 0.95 right these are the cost which these are the actual cost right if you uh, I mean, I mean, how we are so sure because if you take 95% of this figure you will get exactly Oh, sorry if you get 95 percent of this value you will get exactly the same amount right now the how many units are left right this is the current cost now so we have to calculate the revised cost revised cost will be uh, this figure right this figure multiply by 95 percent of 5000 because 5 percent sales will get lost 0.95 multiply by 5000 right uh, yeah and then this figure multiplied by 6000 times 0 0.95 95% is the reduction in sales volume right so that means what that means in totality uh, the new material cost will be this plus this because TD we will not manufacture TD right so this is the new gross material cost now do we still have a discount see we are we will have a 950,000 cost 950,000 is in 3% right uh, so 3% means what uh, discount will be of 3% so net 
cost after discount after 3% discount will be what this times 0 0.95 0 0.97 the 3% discount is there right so this is the new cost and this is the uh, current cost so what will be the change in new cost the saving in material cost will be what this figure minus this figure 88500 right uh, so current cost is 1010 new cost is 921500 so overall saving in material cost will be 88500 right and since this is saving uh, since this is saving we will keep this with a positive figure right now next we will move towards labor uh, saving in sorry let's talk about labor cost right labor cost will see first of all we have to check this saving we have to consider the saving right this saving in the sense $40 per unit of labor for TD, right? Multiply by 1200 plus uh, DW is 50, 50 times 95% uh, of uh, 5000 plus um, 80 times 6000 times 0.95. So this will be the saving in labor cost. Yes, it's fine, right? So saving in labor cost is huge, right? Uh, 4,000 in 40 into 1,200 plus 50 into 95 percent of 5,000, and then 80 into 6,000 times 0.95. Yeah, it's perfectly fine, right? And this is saving. We are keeping this with uh, with the positive figure as well. Now, this third requirement is a uh, is little bit different. Now, what is the third requirement? Third requirement is saying that all the direct material force currently working TD will be made redundant immediately if TD is seized now. Right. So, if we, if it's seized now, then what will happen? Redundancy payment. Redundancy payment will be 6000 right? If stay clean waited for 12 months, uh, the existing labor force would be retained and retrained at a cost of 3500 to enable them to produce new washing dyeing product. So in case of, uh, in case of continuation, the re- Training cost will be what? Mm, 3500. Right? Now, <clears throat> then it says recruitment and training cost of labor in 12 months' time would be 1200 in the event then redundancy takes place now. So, this is the current situation. Uh, recruitment M -E -N -T. recruitment cost will be what? In this case, is 1200. These are one of cost, right? So if you seize it right now, the overall cost will be this, right? This is the seize now cost. And this is the continuation cost, right? So what will be the difference? Mm. Difference is uh, 7200 minus 3500. That means we have to be a 3700 cost extra if we seize it now. Is what? 70, Minus one is because uh, uh, mm, 
minus 1 because this is a this is an extra cost right then what it is saying it is saying that uh, the space of factory will be the space in the factory currently uh, used for td will be sublet for 12 months on a short lease period if production of td stops now right so is this a relevant cost yes and uh, sorry uh, yeah, the space will be 12 months shorter if the production says the income from the contract will be 12,000, right? So there will be income from rent, or you can say there will be a rental income, right? Rental income of 12,000, right? What else do we have? Uh, the supervision cost is not relevant, right? So let's try to add all these costs. If you see his product right now, then decrease in revenue will be 251,000, right? 251,000 is 1200 multiplied by 80, 6000 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 350, and 5000 into this, into this. Overall decrease in revenue will be 251,000. There will be a reduction in material cost by 88,500. There is a saving in labor cost. Somehow I am not getting this saving 40 times 1200. Let me put a bracket. I don't know why I am a little bit doubtful with this. 50 multiplied by 0.95 multiplied by this. Okay, fine, this will not be 0 0.95, this will be 0 0.05. As uh, we are talking about saving now. Yeah. So, uh, labor cost saving will be 84,500. Extra cost will be this, rental income will be this. So, incremental losses. Incremental loss will be around 69,500. That means what? That means that this is showing that if you cease your production of TD now, there will be incremental loss of 69,500. Alternatively, what you can say is, if we continue the manufacturing of TD, there will be a saving of 69,500 for the remaining 12 months. So, despite of the fact that this product is generating a negative contribution, company should still try to continue with the production process because overall it's beneficial for the company, right? And uh, explain two pricing strategies that could be used to improve the financial position of the business in the next 12 months, assuming that TD continues to be made in that period, right? So if you are continuing, uh, then what will be the two pricing strategies? The first pricing strategy is uh, uh, to, uh, to keep your price equals to marginal cost. Price equals to marginal cost. Marginal cost in the sense variable cost. Because if you are charging exactly the variable cost of the customer, then at least you will not generate a negative contribution in that case, right? Alternatively, what you can choose do is uh, can also offer uh, in combination, uh, I mean the bundle bundling concept. Bundling concept in the sense that since, uh, for example, uh, TD is generating a negative contribution of $10, right? Minus $10 contribution. It can be attached with the other product that if you are buying TD because see uh, the other product seems to be dependent on TD. So what we can do is that we can say that look if you buy TD you have to buy certain quantity of DM or DW or if you are manufacturing any other product. So you have to buy certain quantity of that product. So if you are doing that that means uh, the company uh, overall profit can be can be maximized or overall profit can be maintained. Why? Because uh, if you are doing so, then uh, the contribution, I mean, this is a negative contribution and there is a contribution of 80 and 170. So if you sell one unit of TD, you should buy uh, two unit, one units of DW and one units of DM. Or if you buy one unit of TD, at least you have to buy either uh, one unit of DW and one unit of DM. So if you are going for a bundling concept with any other product, then you can also survive. So product bundling offer can also be the option right bundling of the product can also be of the option right 
so that's the end of this video i hope you uh, uh, i hope you understood all these things and from the next lecture probably we will start performance measurement which is again another very important area of performance measurement till now uh, till then uh, take care of yourself have a nice day allah hafiz